Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, I, I hate to I hate to be that guy, right? I hate to be that guy, but I, I got to be the one to tell you that the sadly the American Society of Magical Negroes. I am not kidding. That is the title of the movie. Hmm. Has been pulled from release only three weeks into its release. 2.4 million, million, that's it. 2.4 million dollars. It made less money than the Gem movie in 2015. How the heck do you make less money than Gem? You call the movie the American Society of Magical Negroes. That's how you think. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I and mean, that is the title of the movie. That's not right. Like, can you imagine? Like, I, I feel weird even- Reading it? Reading it. I know. I feel weird reading it. And they actually bring it up on this article here from World of uh, Real. It's worldofreal.com. And people are like, yeah, can you imagine asking for tickets to this movie? Hi, two tickets, please, to which movie? Um, Wait, but this was a Searchlight film? Yeah. If that means it's Disney. It's a Disney movie, yeah. It's Disney. It's magical. Oh. They're magical Negroes. But of course, when you say, I mean, come when, on. When you to see this. I, yeah. And they were like, oh, hey, black people didn't go see it either. I'm like, why would you? Why would they? It's like, why it's would so you demeaning go... the whole way around. I'm like, why would you? So as I understand it, and I have not seen this movie, apparently nobody saw this movie, but as I understand it, um, it's basically about uh, the society of the, the, the trope, the magical Negro trope, which we talked about before. Which is the this uh, black person shows up to basically solve white person's problems or mm -hmm. give them advice or whatever, and they have a whole society of these people. Like it's your job to be the black best friend, right? And uh, like nobody. Why would anybody want to watch that? Why would anybody want this? It's like, it, it, it's it's so it's so insulting to e literally everyone. Like this this is what we talk about. We're like we kind of got over a lot of these issues, and it seems like all these these issues keep popping up again. This is something that would have been made in the 70s. <laughs> you know, it was like as a we were joke past by this. Mel Brooks. We've been past this. Yeah. You know? yes, Mel Bur Br yes. Mel Brooks Mel would have made Mel Brooks would have done it as a joke. Um, uh, yeah, this isn't even a joke. You could think it was going to be a joke, but it's not. And it's like, what? So let's uh let's oh, well, uh we're also gonna talk about Bailey DeWilliams. Yeah, we're gonna since we're already in trouble. He says it's okay to do blackface. <laughs> since in, in context, we're gonna talk about it. Yeah, since we're already in trouble. Since this video is all right, we're just gonna roll, we're just gonna rip that bandaid right the hell off, and we're gonna talk about Billy. We don't even Williams. know if it's gonna get monetized, but that's okay. Uh, Billy D. Williams uh, getting drunk and talking to Bill Maher and saying, "Yeah, blackface under certain circumstances is totally cool. It's Actors fun. should be allowed to do what they're gonna do. Yeah, whatever the hell you want to do, right? Uh, so yeah, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about the, uh, the magical Negro movie. Uh, can I say that? 28% did not go see it because I, I, I find it insulting for me. I find it insulting to people who aren't white. I find it insulting just the whole way around and it's Disney. So I just bite my rear with it. Anyway. This, this is what blows my, yes, this is searchlight, which is Fox, right? And that's Disney, Disney now. It's Disney now. So Disney put this movie out. Uh -huh. Disney put a movie. Disney's worried about <laughs> song of the South. Right, but they did this. And Disney puts out a movie <laughs> called Magical Negroes. Oh, um, wait a minute. But it's funny to me because they have Bob Iger saying, no, no. Everybody's just throwing the term woke around. Like, they don't know what it means. I I, I don't even know what it means. But we're not it. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Um, yeah, 27%, 1. 1.5 out of 5 average rating in the audience 1. 8 score. out of 5, yeah. That's, a, okay, on the on the all audience, a Verify tries to tell you it's a 64%. This movie is fresh. Yeah, <laughs> for just like beep, pop, boop. Yeah. Oh, my God. 28%. Uh, yeah, I we looked at the critics before. We we talked about this movie when it first came out. And I, I said it, it made less money than the Gem movie. And the Gem movie was pulled from theaters I think in week two or three, too. They they Gem just was, they, I don't I have not seen it. I will never watch it. Uh Gem and Name Only. And it's this one the I saw Gem. I thought this when I heard the title, I'm like, oh, is this like a Wayne's Brothers movie? Like they're of, making fun of it. Of Harry Potter or something? Like that could be fun. That might be no, no, they're dead serious. It actually looks deathly serious, the trailer. I'm like, wow. I don't know if it was or not. I didn't see it. I'm never going to watch it. God. Because why would I waste my time? Why would anybody waste their time on Nobody this? did. That's the point. Um, <laughs> Nobody went to see it. 15 to 20 million to produce. Oh, snap. And it only made 2.4 million. And here's the thing. I like Justice Smith. I didn't recognize David Allen Greer. I was like, that's David Allen Greer. I'm like, damn, oh, no, you got old. Uh, well, I, that happens. I know, but 
if he's getting old, then I'm getting old too because he wasn't that old when I first started watching him. But now he's old and so am I. They're saying it parodied the trope, but it doesn't sound like it parodied I, it at all. The trailer looked pretty serious. I watched part of the trailer. I'm like, it looks pretty serious to what me. What are the like, comments? On um, this 62 comments. Uh, meanwhile, John Sales can't get a movie greenlit. Uh, people are really making a big deal about that title. When was the last time you went up to the booth and said every single word of a long title of film, American Society? Okay, well, it's just, they're making a joke about how stupid the title was. The correct shortened phrase would be two tickets to Magical Negro, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. We're sick of magical people. One magical. Like, why? Yeah. All they care about is the joke they made about the, the buying the tickets. I'm like, that's not the point. Yeah, it's well below the eight million gross for the documentary "I Am Not Your Negro," which had some awkward moments. These are titles just for the YouTube. If you're scrubbing this video, just so you know, these are the titles of actual movies. We're not making it up. We're not saying racisty things, although these movies existing might be kind of uh, racisty. Well, nobody wants it, including the audience that was meant for. Yeah, making an entire movie on this Key and Peele sketch. Yeah, somebody actually, uh, I think it was Lorena Creel. She actually sent a link to the, the Key and Peele skit that was Black Harry Potter, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I would watch that if we had Morgan Freeman playing Black Dumbledore. Because that would be appropriate. Because remember Lean on Me? Did you ever see Lean on Me? Yeah, years ago. Yeah, it was a good movie. Long time ago. But, hey, guy, I hate to break it to you. We had we had movies with black people in back in the 80s. Just, I, had I, to, no. I feel like I had to, I had to put that true. out there. That's not true. No, there was not diversity at all. I just feel and like black I had... ceilings were not broken until 2014 when Hollywood did it now with current year people. No, Leon Me was pretty good. They're going to call me Batman. You had the bat. Then years later, he helps Batman. Helps Batman. <laughs> he helps funny. Batman turn his head. He's like, you want to turn your head, right? Oh, I'm totally not Batman. You're totally Batman, asshole. I know you're Batman. I'm not stupid. You want to turn your head. I can fix it for you. Well, let's let's go talk about the other part of this. Um, the so other, that didn't do well. That didn't do and well. And as a chaser, uh, <laughs> as a cha Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Billy D. Williams. Um, God bless this man. I, I hope he lives. Him. I do. I, I hope him. he lives forever. I love, um, he's, well, he's 87 now. Um, I'm like. He looks good. He's good. He, he is. He's drinking whatever William Shatner's drinking. I'm just like, dude. You can't anyway. kill. Oh, my God. I want to see a Kirk and Lando comic. <laughs> or a movie. Amazing. Kirk and Lando. Just like. <laughs> they're all like their age now. Yeah. And they're um, just like going around the galaxy can, picking can, up can, chicks. They was they can compare who got more pussy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Anyway. I got green so, pussy last night. <laughs> Mine was blue and had like eight tits. I don't know. What were you drinking? Damn. So, how do you get one of those? Well, I had three. Three of them. Oh, my Shit, God. man. So you go down. <laughs> okay. Go down here. Go down the article. Not a... Oh, not yeah. article. Anyway, so... Okay, so... Billy Julie Williams was on Bill Maher's podcast. Uh oh. Um, Club Random with Bill Maher. And they're drinking. So they're, they're, they're always drinking. They're always drunk, partly sloshed before they started. And they keep uh -huh. drinking throughout. So they get, like, partway through it. And they start talking about um, Laurence Olivier and playing Othello. And... And Billy the Williams is talking about how I guess he did the blackface and he pushed his butt out when he was playing because he thought black people had big butts. So he said, when he did Othello, I fell out laughing. He stuck his ass out and walked around with his ass because <laughs> black people were supposed to have big asses. I thought it was hysterical. I loved it. And oh then Bill Maher God. is like, you know, well, you can't do that today. You can't get away with that day. And, and, and he's like, what, blackface? And he's like, what? He's like, blackface. And he's, he's like, actors should be allowed to do it. He said... He said, why not? You should do it if you're an actor. You should do anything you want to do. What? And he said, if you if you feel like if you know that's something you can do, you should be allowed to do it as an actor. So here Billy DeWilliams is telling people that, you know, he doesn't think it's right that you aren't allowed to do that. Because if an actor feels that's necessary for a role, so Robert Downey Jr., you you're right to not apologize for Tropic Thunder. Um, Ted Danson. I mean, I'm I know just he's like, oh, yeah, that's true. Huh? He's like, they, you're an actor, and then Joy um, Behar. I'm just saying. yeah, Joy Behar. <laughs> um, what's his nuts from Canada? What's that's um, his name? What's his nuts? Uh, what's his nuts? The, the Prime Minister. What's his nuts? The guy in charge of Canada. My Trudeau. Mind Blake. Trudeau. He's a, my mind. Blake. Oh my Sorry, god, it's like Spaceballs. 
<laughs> we have a trans screw. president screw. We have Prime Minister What's his dust. <laughs> he comes on the screen. He's in blackface. I have not been drinking. I apologize to you, Canada. We should. You know, but, we'd be a lot know, more I, fun. I feel more sorry for you with him than anything. Um, I'm sorry, so, Canada. I'm so sorry, Canada. That's his memoir. Um, I'm sorry, Canada. <laughs> so then he goes on, and then Mars like, well, you know, you're 87, so you lived at a time where you couldn't play roles that you should have played, and now, you know, it's not, you know, you should be more mad about it kind of thing. <laughs> the and white then, guy tell him. I know. I was like watching this like, are you kidding me? And he said, I, it, should ma- it shouldn't matter. The fact is you discuss it. And he goes on, he goes, the point is you don't go through life feeling like I'm a victim. I mean, I refuse to go through life saying to the world, I'm pissed off. I'm not going to be pissed off 24 hours a day. Man speaking facts. Man based. He's like, yeah, back in the day, that's true. But I couldn't just go around being pissed about it because, it, you know, it was the way it was. It's not the way now. And I'm not going to sit there and be a victim all the time. Why would I want to be? And to watch Bill Maher made some comment about, well, he got a lot of pussy, which is probably true. Yeah, um, I still I still think Kirk and Lando needs to be a thing. <laughs> that would be a, that would be glorious. Be freaking amazing. You know, like, you know, he's 87. How old's how old's yeah, Shatner, Shatner now? God, 90 he's some. like 92 or something. They're just going around clubbing, picking up chicks. Yeah. Clubbing in space. Clubbing in space. You know. Kirk and Lando. Club- God, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Anyway, so we go for the American Society of Negroes making it three weeks in the theaters and nobody wanted to see it because everybody was like turned off or offended to the juxtaposition of Billy D. Williams saying now in context, he means if it was if you feel you're an actor and you want to do it, and you feel like you can do it, you should be allowed to do it. He's not saying that he agrees with it he, all the time. He's just saying an actor, if they feel like they should be able they could do it, they should be allowed to do it. I. <laughs> So he's giving you permission. And he's it's, like getting, it's like getting it's like getting the M word pass. I he, I need to I needed to call Billy D Williams before we did this and said, "Can I say the title of this movie? <laughs> is that okay, Billy?" Because like, I don't feel but right. But even more doing than it. that, the fact that he's like, "Yeah, it sucked back then, but I'm not going to be a victim. I refuse to go through life saying I'm pissed off." And and that is. You know, in current year, you're not allowed to say that. You're supposed to be victim. You're supposed to have the victim mentality all the time, no matter who you are. It's the the victim card. And he's like, I'm not going to spend my life being pissed. And they asked about Star Wars. He asked about Star Wars, which Bill Maher isn't a Star Wars fan, so kiss my butt, you're a butthead. Anyway, he said about Star Wars, and Billy Williams said that he was interested in the character because it wasn't just like, oh, if you come to me saying you're the one black character or whatever, he said I wouldn't have done it. Right. But because he was allowed, they kept telling him more and more about the name and the costume, and then he got to like do what he wanted with the character and be creative. He took the part because he wasn't he wasn't taking parts that were just like, well, you're the black guy in the movie. He wanted a part that was you're a character in the movie who happens to be black. Do your best with this character, and you could be creative. And that's what he wanted to do, like an actual actor. Imagine that. I know, right? I, I like him. He's so he's so based. I like it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And he was he was mad because they were trying to call him pansexual. He's like, what? Gender fluid? What? What? I don't know. He, maybe he likes both. I don't know. I'm don't just know. saying that they were talking often about how much he got. Yeah, I'm sure he did. So show Shatner. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Yeah, so there we go, guys. Uh, Billy D. Williams giving you the blackface pass. And if you're an actor and you feel like you can do it, yeah, I there's got to be an caveat. asterisk. There's a, there's a caveat. You can't just like walk around. He's blackface. not just telling people to go do blackface. That's not what he's saying. Especially in some countries now, they'll freaking arrest you. I mean, that's not what he's saying. If we're putting it in context, but yes. And uh, also, uh, no more Negroes in the box office. Yeah. That's magical ones. Magical. Magical. And it's a secret society. A secret society of magical ones. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. All right. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.